Stelios, uh, you happy to be back at the Reebok where you had so many fond memories? Yeah, it's always to to be back here. It's it's a fantastic feeling because it reminds me fantastic moments with the club. Uh, five absolutely brilliant years. Uh, we've lived uh, uh, in a very very special era for the club, and uh, I'm very very fortunate to be a member uh, of that uh, fantastic uh, squad that we used to have. And uh, I hope one day the club uh, uh, returns to the Premier League and uh, has uh, a fantastic season and uh, goes to the Europe uh, again. Just five great, fantastic years. And any particular memory that stands out for you? Yeah, I will never forget, uh, of course, my first season because it was a, a season that I had to get used to the Premiership and uh, after that uh, when I got back from the Euro 2004 with my national team that we had a very big uh, success uh, with winning the trophy, uh, directly after we had the chance to qualify for, for Europe. So it was a fantastic, uh, it was a fantastic season for us and uh, I'm very very happy to contribute uh, with some uh, very, very special goals and very, very um, good uh, appearances, performances for the club. And uh, that is what, uh, what remains for, uh, from all these years when you, you go back and remember. You remember these good moments. Of course, I will never forget uh, the last game. Uh, it was against uh, Everton at home, I think, uh, when we had our new gear on. And uh, we managed to qualify for Europe, and uh, it was a fantastic. It was a full house here, and uh, directly after the game, we had uh, you know fireworks and uh, a big celebration uh, for the for the qualification for Europe. So, pff, what else can you ask from a club uh, like Bolton f to become uh, a European member? One of the great memories was scoring at that end of the stadium against Arsenal. Yeah, and that. And that, uh, it was, uh, I don't know, it was coincidence, I should say, I don't know what, uh, what to say, but um, uh, we had, uh, apart from that, we had uh, great moments. I don't know how, how to express myself now and how to say, there are so many good memories and good uh, times that uh, I cannot count them in, uh, in one hand or two hands. You need more uh, fingers than that, so uh, you can tell uh, just by coming into my house back in Greece, uh, it's full of memories from, from the club, so I have the club in my heart. You, whilst you were at Bolton Wanderers, you went on to win Euro 2004 with Greece. Yeah, that was, that was uh, the best moment in my career, it was uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, throughout the whole tournament, it was uh, an unbelievable experience, not only for me and uh, for my for my teammates, and of course it was uh, very very good for the club because uh, I was representing the club as well. So I was uh, twice happy for me, for myself, uh, for my country, and for the club uh, here in England. So uh, uh, it was fantastic feeling feeling. You're now living back home in Greece. What is it you miss about England? I should say I miss everything. <laughs> uh, it's the the game itself, uh, the the atmosphere, the the organisation, the people. That I have many many friends here, so uh, it's fantastic when uh, when I get back, and it's quite often. It's once or twice a year that. Uh, I visit, uh, I visit England and uh, in every chance I have uh, I come here to, to see old friends, to see the club playing uh, football and uh, maybe going to the training ground to see some uh, training sessions as well. So I miss it very much. As I said before, I had uh, fantastic uh, memories from the club and uh, every chance I have I will come and visit again.
and you was able to, to pop in last weekend to, to see that Laftar statue be revealed. Yeah, I was lucky enough to to be present and uh, see a fantastic uh, statue. I think it's the minimum requirement for uh, big legends like uh, like uh, not, la uh, the less the minimum that you can do for this type of players is uh, a statue. Uh, I think uh, the strongest uh, thing is the memories, especially from the people that uh, have seen him playing. And uh, the legend goes on from father to son. And uh, even uh, young boys and girls that uh, have not seen him play, they hear stories from uh, the granddad, the grandmom, so they know who Lat uh, Nat uh, Lothhaus was. So I was, I was lucky enough to, to meet him, to have a, a handshake uh, with him. And uh, I'm very, very pri privileged to be one uh, of these people.